Hey everybody, Professor Cynical back again with another glitch video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you the new Unlimited Freighter item run glitch. It's absolutely amazing, guys, and this was actually discovered completely by accident. I'll tell you more about the backstory later on. However, let's get into today's video. Alright, guys, so the very first thing we need to do here is we need to jump into a new solar system. So this is where we are right now. Now, in that solar system, it can be any solar system that you want in any galaxy. It doesn't matter. What does matter is it needs to have all of those NPC ships. Now, I don't know if you've seen them there when we came in, but those are what we're looking for. But we're going to, first of all, do what we do right now is we are just going to land in the space station next to those ships. Jump in, jump out, and that will create a save. Once we do that, guys, we're going to take right back off again. Now, I've gone ahead there and just emptied my starship just to show you how much you can feasibly make from doing this method. Now, once you start flying out of the actual space station itself, it can take a wee second to find them because they seem to... It's almost like you get disorientated when you come out of the space station. But there we go. I see them there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to attack each and every one of them. Now, I'm using a god-tier ship for today's demonstration because I can almost it's almost like having a Gatling gun as you can see right there on my actual ship it's it's ridiculous so this is just to speed up the process however you can do this with any ship that you want it doesn't matter I'm just using it with this ship for today's demonstration only so just take that with a pinch of salt now what we need to do is we're just going to completely go through each and every one of these ships and as you can see there, top right, I'm getting all of these very, very, very juicy items, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, just whilst I'm doing this, I just want to mention as well, now this actual method was discovered partly by a guy called Evil Chief. Now, we'll do a live stream together over on Procedural Travelers 2020 Norman Sky meet up because unfortunately due to the current situation and what's happening around the world we couldn't all meet up in real life so we did it virtually instead anyway long story short that's where this method was discovered now what we're doing right now is we've just blown up a few of these ships and we need to now think about going over to the Space Anomaly. So call in the Space Anomaly and we're going to do something called a flyby. Now for those who are new to the channel and you wonder what a flyby is, it's very, very simple guys. All you do for a flyby is when you're going into the Anomaly itself, get an item to be ready to transfer. Once you have an item ready to transfer, wait until you see some names appear. Once they appear, wait for them to turn from red to blue or whatever the colour is and then transfer over an item make sure it does say sent though because sometimes you can get caught out by people not actually accepting the item because their inventory is full whatever the case may be so just make sure it says definitely sent when you give over the item and then you reload draw or save it's that easy guys all right so what we've done here is yes we've just blown up some ships but we get to keep all the items obviously and we get our Corvex, so in, in this case today, we get our Corvex rating back because those are Corvex ships that we were attacking. Now, we get to get all those actual ratings back so we don't actually lose any allegiance with them, if that makes sense. I can't remember exactly what you call it, but you know what I'm talking about. Now, what we need to do is just fly around in space for a quick second because those ships, believe it or not, even though you've just destroyed them, there was a top left and I'm looking like an idiot for them and I just missed them. Um, so just keep looking around because those ships will still actually be there. Like I said, guys, I didn't notice some top left the first time around. It's always I'm d doing the voiceover that I realized that there was actually there and I just missed them again by mistake. But look at that, guys. So not only did we completely destroy these ships, they are now back. We get to keep all the items that we've just looted and the best thing is we don't lose any favor with the Corvex or whichever it is that you're attacking. So whether it be a Get, Corvex or whatever, we don't lose any favor. So what that basically means is you can keep doing this run as many times as you please. And each time you'll be getting things like fair and modules, you'll be getting very, very rare and expensive items. So if you do this one, two or even three times, 
you can make easily a few million and have laws and laws and laws of freight upgrade modules to boot as well. Honestly, that's how incredible this actually is. So, like I said, guys, right now, I went from doing it with my upgraded God Tier ship, and this time around, I'm just using it without putting normal parts into God Tier ship to make it like that Gatlin effect. So, I'm using it now just with a normal ship, just to show you that it's still completely possible with a normal ship. You don't need to have a God Tier ship to pull this off, because I'm still getting out of the way before the actual patrol comes in so it's almost like the space police before then they start coming and, and ruin everybody else's day we're just getting out of there and we're gonna now do the space and army run so as you can see there already we had a module from just literally doing that for literally five ten seconds uh, i was gonna pass over an item as always doing the flyby now unfortunately there's no other way to get around this you have to do the flyby each and every time but nonetheless guys we can do this, like I said, as many times as we want. And the best thing is, it's brand new, just discovered for 2.62. How incredible is that? Oh, guys, honestly, I absolutely love finding these glitches. Now, if we look into our starship here, those are the items that I've literally just made. Again, I only did a very, very quick run just to basically show you the basics of it because I don't want to take too much time out of your day today. Now, a few runs that I did earlier on into the cargo i've got a mind control device worth seventy-five thousand units but look at all the salvage freight and modules there i've got absolutely loads of them i got i nice cobalt you name it i got it from just by basically destroying these ships honestly guys let me know in the comment section down below if this is working for you and let me know what you make out of the deal absolutely fantastic guys well anyway thank you all very much for watching as always i want to thank my wonderful patrons for today's video i would like to thank Richard Borjeff, The Dread Sky, Captain Z1420, Jilly Dad, Don Mega1976, Westland, Alan, Rene, and I want to thank our wonderful superfans as well, guys. So I want to thank superfan Steve, superfan Jerry, superfan John, superfan Alex, and superfan Brian. I also want to thank our wonderful YouTube members, Kelmia, Frisco Bear Pelican, and Astros AJ for becoming part of the ever-growing YouTube membership student club over on youtube absolutely amazing guys thank you each and every single one of you now guys if you the viewer watching this here at home you like what i do why not consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already hit that like button and don't forget to turn on notification bell so you're alerted for whenever i release new videos also guys if you want to support the channel in any other way you can do so by clicking the patreon link in the video description down below all right guys well as always my name is professor cynical and i'll catch you all again in the next one Bye for now.